In linear algebra, a convex cone is a subset of a vector space over an ordered field that is closed under linear combinations with positive coefficients. Definition A subset C of a vector space V is a convex cone if alpha x plus beta y belongs to C for any positive scalars alpha, beta, and any x, y in C. The defining condition can be written more succinctly as alpha C plus beta C equals C for any positive scalars alpha. The concept is meaningful for any vector space that allows the concept of positive scalar such as spaces over the rational algebraic or the real numbers. The empty set, the space V, and any linear subspace V are convex cones by this definition. Other examples are the set of all positive multiples of an arbitrary vector V or, v, or the positive orthant of Rn. A more general example is the set of all vectors λx such that λ is a positive scalar and x is an element of some convex subset x of V. In particular, if V is a normed vector space, and x is an open ball of V that does not contain zero, this construction gives an open convex circular cone. The intersection of two convex cones in the same vector space is again a convex cone, but their union may fail to be one. The class of convex cones is also closed under arbitrary linear maps. In particular, if C is a convex cone, so is its opposite minus C, and C minus C is the largest linear subspace contained in C. Convex cones are linear cones if C is a convex cone, then for any positive scalar alpha and any x in C the vector alpha x equals x plus x is in C. It follows that a convex cone C is a special case of a linear cone. Alternative definitions It follows from the above property that a convex cone can also be defined as a linear cone that is closed under convex combinations, or just under additions. More succinctly, a set C is a convex cone if and only if alpha C equals C and C plus C equals C for any positive scalar alpha of V. It follows also that one can replace the phrase positive scalars alpha, beta in the definition of convex cone by non-negative scalars alpha, beta, not both zero, blunt and pointed cones. According to the above definition, if C is a convex cone, then C zero is a convex cone. Two. A convex cone is said to be pointed or blunt depending on whether it includes the null vector zero or not. Blunt cones can be excluded from the definition of convex cone by substituting non-negative for positive in the condition of alpha. The term pointed is also often used to refer to a closed cone that contains no complete line, i.e., what is called a salient cone below half spaces. A hyperplane of V e is a maximal proper linear subspace V. An open half space of V e is any subset H of V e defined by the condition L greater than 0, 0, where L is any linear function from V to its scalar field. The hyperplane defined by L equals 0 is the bounding hyperplane of H. Half spaces are convex cones. Moreover, any convex cone C that is not the whole space V must be contained in some closed half space H of V. In fact, a topologically closed convex cone is the intersection of all closed half spaces that contain it. The analogous result holds for any topologically open convex cone, salient convex cones and perfect half spaces. A convex cone is said to be flat if it contains some non-zero vector x and its opposite x, and salient otherwise. A blunt convex cone is necessarily salient, but the converse is not necessarily true. A convex cone C is salient if and only if C minus C, zero, that is, if and only if C does not contain any non-trivial linear subspace V. A perfect half space of V is defined recursively as follows. If V is zero-dimensional, then it is the set, zero, else it is any open half space H of V together with a perfect half-space of the bounding hyperplane of H. Every perfect half-space is a salient convex cone, and, moreover, every salient convex cone is contained in a perfect half-space. 
In other words, the perfect half spaces are the maximal salient convex cones. In fact, it can be proved that every pointed salient convex cone is the intersection of all the perfect half spaces that contain it. Cross sections and projections of a convex set. Flat section and affine hyperplane of E is any subset of E of the form V plus H where V is a vector of E and H is a hyperplane. The following result follows from the property of containment by half spaces. Let Q be an open half space of V, and A equals H plus V where H is the bounding hyperplane of Q and V is any vector in Q. Let C be a linear cone contained in Q. Then C is a convex cone if and only the set C equals C A is a convex subset of A. Because of this result, all properties of convex sets of and affine space have an analog for the convex cones contained in a fixed open half space. Spherical section given a norm, for V, we define the unit sphere of V as the set of the values of, a scalars of V. Then a linear cone C of V is a convex cone if and only if its spherical section C, S is a convex subset of S, in the following sense. For any two vectors u, v, c, with u minus v, all the vectors in the shortest path from u to v in s are in c, dual cone. Let c v be a convex cone in a real vector space v equipped with an inner product. The dual cone to c is the set this is also a convex cone. If C is equal to its dual cone, C is called self-dual. Another common notion of the dual of a cone CV is that it is the cone C asterisk in the dual space V asterisk defined by. In other words, if V asterisk is the algebraic dual space of V, it is the set of linear functionals that are non-negative on the primal cone C. If we take V asterisk to be the continuous dual space then it is the set of continuous linear functionals non-negative on C. This notion does not require the specification of an inner product on V. In finite dimensions, the two notions of dual cone are essentially the same because any inner product induces a linear isomorphism from V asterisk to V. And this isomorphism will take the dual cone given by the second definition, in V asterisk, onto the one given by the first definition. A cone can be said to be self-dual without reference to any given inner product. If there exists an inner product with respect to which it is equal to its dual by the first definition, the map from V to V asterisk induced by this inner product will therefore take C asterisk V asterisk to C V. However, the existence of an linear isomorphism of the dual cone onto the primal cone is not equivalent to self-duality in this sense. While every such isomorphism induces a non-singular bilinear form on V, this form is not necessarily positive definite. There are many examples of cones that are linearly isomorphic to their dual cones, but not self-dual. Any cone in three dimensions with a regular polygonal base having an even number of vertices is an example. Partial order defined by a convex cone. A pointed and salient convex cone C induces a partial ordering on V, defined so that x, y if and only if y minus x, C. Sums and positive scalar multiples of valid inequalities with respect to this order remain valid inequalities. A vector space with such an order is called an ordered vector space. Examples include the product order on real valued vectors and the loner order on matrices. Proper convex cone. The term proper cone is variously defined, depending on the context. It often means a salient convex cone that is not contained in any hyperplane of E, possibly with other conditions such as topologically closed, or topologically open. Some authors use the term wedged for what this article calls a convex cone, and reserve cone for what this article calls a salient pointed cone or for one of the notions of proper cone just described. Examples of convex cones Given a closed, convex subset K of Hilbert space V, the outward normal cone to the set K at the point X in K is given by. Given a closed, convex subset K of V, the tangent cone to the set K at the point X is given by. Given a closed, convex subset K of Hilbert space V. 
the tangent cone to the set K at the point X in K can be defined as polar cone to outwards normal cone. Both the normal and tangent cone have the property of being closed and convex. They are important concepts in the fields of convex optimization, variational inequalities and projected dynamical systems.